Welcome to Amorous Creation. The Honest Woodcutter's Reward Once upon a time, in a peaceful village near a dense forest, there lived a hard-working woodcutter named Henry. Henry was poor, but he always did his best to earn an honest living by chopping wood from the forest and selling it in the village market. Every morning, as the sun rose, Henry would carry his old iron axe into the forest and work all day, gathering wood to provide for his family. One warm afternoon, Henry decided to cut down a large tree that stood near a river. He knew it would take time and effort, but the wood would fetch a good price at the market. As Henry swung his axe, thwack, thwack, the sound of chopping filled the air. But as he delivered a strong blow, his hand suddenly slipped, and the axe flew out of his grip. To his horror, the axe fell right into the deep river with a loud splash. Henry gasped in shock as he watched the axe sink beneath the water. His heart sank, too, because that was his only tool for making a living. What will I do now? Henry cried. Without my axe, I can't work, and I have no money to buy a new one. He sat on the riverbank, feeling helpless and sad, wondering how he would provide for his family. Just as Henry was about to lose hope, something magical happened. The water in the river began to shimmer and glow, and suddenly, a beautiful fairy appeared, rising from the depths of the river. She wore a gown that sparkled like the sunlight reflecting on the water, and her kind eyes gazed upon the worried woodcutter. Why are you so sad, good woodcutter? The fairy asked in a soft, comforting voice. Henry was surprised, but quickly told the fairy what had happened. I accidentally dropped my axe into the river, and now I have no way to do my work, he explained. It was a simple iron axe, but it was all I had. The fairy smiled warmly. Don't worry, Henry. I can help you. With that, she dived back into the river. When she emerged, she held a shiny, golden axe in her hands. Is this your axe? the fairy asked, offering the beautiful golden tool. Henry stared at the gleaming axe. It was the most magnificent tool he had ever seen, but he shook his head and replied, No, that's not mine. My axe is made of iron, not gold. The fairy smiled again and disappeared beneath the water once more. This time, when she returned, she was holding a sparkling silver axe. Is this your axe? she asked again. Henry looked at the silver axe and admired its beauty, but he shook his head once more. No, that's not mine either, he said honestly. My axe was a plain old iron one. The fairy disappeared into the water one last time and came back holding a rusty old iron axe, the very axe that Henry had dropped into the river. Henry's face lit up with relief. Yes, that's my axe. Thank you, he exclaimed. The fairy's eyes sparkled with joy. You are an honest man, Henry. Because of your honesty, I will give you not only your iron axe, but also the golden and silver axes as a reward for your truthfulness. Henry was overjoyed. He thanked the fairy from the bottom of his heart and took all three axes. When he returned to his village, he told everyone about the kind fairy and how his honesty had brought him more than he could have ever imagined. From that day on, Henry worked harder than ever, using the golden and silver axes as reminders of the power of honesty. The villagers admired Henry not for the riches he had gained but for the honesty he showed, and he became known as the most trustworthy man in the village. Moral of the story Honesty is always rewarded. Even when it seems like telling the truth won't help, being honest will always bring good things your way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.